Welcome back. <laughs> so today is like kind of a get ready with me kind of except I'm doing like clown makeup. I just really wanted to do this for Halloween but then I had midterms all this week and I just didn't get time so I'm doing it now. <laughs> oh my god I completely forgot I have these so I can totally use these. Okay let's just get started with it. I know the lighting's not amazing. I just wanted to do it like this with my light up mirror and it's really cloudy and like not grayed out today so the sun wasn't gonna be working with us anyways. Anyway, I saw a couple pictures on Instagram of like the kind of look I want to do. Yeah, I've never really used like face paint before and the stuff I got is from the dollar store. So I'm not expecting like amazing results, but let's just keep our fingers crossed. Also, my skin has been breaking out a lot in my mouth area because of like masks and stuff. So I'm a little nervous that it's going to be like really patchy and gross around that area, but we'll see. Also, we don't stand. This is just a really old mirror. I say that like every makeup video but I just have to clarify um I swear I had like a hair clip somewhere oh they're over there okie dokie artichokey I look so good right now you guys are so lucky I'm gonna mix a little bit of foundation with the white face paint because I think that's gonna be our best option oh wow okay <laughs> I don't want to wreck my beauty blender with this but here we go oh it smells awful like literally like paint okay it's starting to sting so that can only mean good things Anyway, what's new with you guys? I hope you like this video even though it's not Halloween anymore, but you don't need an excuse to do fun makeup. Like, you can literally just do fun makeup whenever you want. Like, I know that's such a crazy thing to say, but you totally can. Wow, my skin is just absorbing. Like, I know I'm pale, but I'm not this pale. It honestly just smells like acrylic paint, so can't wait to wash this off. <laughs> it looks so bad and like patchy that I'm not sure if I should just take it off and use a lot of concealer. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I ever would have gotten anything to like stick on top of that. It was like so slippery, so at least my skin feels like pretty soft after that abuse. So I might need to buy more concealer. Anyway, so I just finished like all my midterms this week and I'm Canadian. So tomorrow is Remembrance Day and we get a long weekend. Like Remembrance Day is a stat obviously. So we get the day off no matter what, but I also get Friday off of school. And since I just did like all my midterms, this week I literally don't have any homework or anything this weekend well I do have like an assignment due today and a quiz and an essay I know this sounds like a lot but I've like started all of them so in like actuality I don't have like anything I have to do so I can just spend the entire weekend doing whatever I want I'm gonna edit I'm gonna film <laughs> finally I haven't been able to have like any time to focus on YouTube at all so I can't wait to finally have the chance to do that and then I also I'm just gonna like clean my room, relax, take a brain break because I have been feeling so stressed out lately and just like not myself so I'm really excited to take some time for myself so if you're feeling the same way even if you don't have a long weekend or a lot of time please take time for yourself because it's really easy when you're busy to just forget to take care of yourself and that's when things go wrong so please take time for yourself and yeah this one pimple was like a huge cyst yesterday and I know you're not supposed to but I popped it because I get really bad like cystic acne which I think I've mentioned before on my channel but it's like the kind of cystic acne well I think all cystic acne is like the same but it like um really hurts obviously and it's like a huge cyst so I had to pop it like it's like the only way to get relief from the pain and it's gone down so much like the swelling but as you can see it just doesn't want to be covered so that's okay we'll find a different way usually powder is like the best friend when you like need to cover something so feels really weird I never wear like full-on foundation so I feel like if I touch any of my skin it's gonna like rub off which honestly might be true because I haven't used powder yet but I don't know what I'm doing do I have a white eyeshadow yes I do okay there is a hair in my eye I hope you guys are close enough should I bring you in a little bit closer hello I'll bring you in even more okay I think that's better I'm never wearing my glasses when I film so honestly if you're not in focus I don't know but also I figured out the focus better on this camera compared to my last video if I end up posting it because it was very out of focus in a lot of points so hopefully I was able to salvage it but I figured out the focus so I'm still undecided on what I want to do with my eyebrows for this look kind of want to do like a, bre a bleached brow look but still undecided so we're gonna save those for a bit 
That was disgusting. You didn't see that. Okay, and my lips are so chapped. So we're gonna put some lip balm on. And then we're gonna do like a really glossy, like oversized lip look because clowns do like the big mouth. And yeah, we're gonna do like a cute kind of version of that. I don't know. I'm just going off of a few Instagram pictures I saw of like clown makeup. Okay, I'm aware that probably looks disgusting right now, but that's what we're sticking with. Okay, let's look at these looks. I hope you can see that but i really want to do that like green blush for the clown and clowns usually focus it really on the center of the cheek i'm just like i don't know what to do for contour as a clown like what do clowns do when they contour maybe like a gray i just don't think they do i have a few look yeah i just don't think they do so we're just gonna do green in the apples of the cheeks oh that's fun this is so weird a lot of the people did like circle shapes on the cheeks and i don't want to do it too like circly almost like triangles i guess under the eyes like that but now oh i'm swallowing so much of this lip balm because i use too much okay two face lip injections because we're too broke to get actual lip injections so we're gonna fake it kylie jenner who get rid of these creases nobody likes eye creases guess i should probably decide about the eyebrows before i do the eyeshadow and i definitely think i'm going for a bleached brow look so i've tried the bleached brow look once before it did not turn out amazing but there is a tutorial on my channel of like a makeup look i did with a bleached brow look it was kind of cool but i literally got a comment and it said it looked nothing like bleached brows so that's kind of funny also i totally just put white on my eyelids with the same brush i used to do my green blush so that was a epic fail moment okay honestly this isn't bad okay it looks kind of cool okay i kind of hate my eyebrows because one is higher than the other and it has been like my whole life and there's nothing i can do about it to like change it so i've always been like super insecure about it and stuff and like no matter how i pluck them or if i got them plucked or waxed by someone else like you just like there was no way for me to fix it so i always just want to like bleach my eyebrows so i don't even have to look at them or deal with it but maybe one day i'll get like botox or something and it'll like fix them but anyway for now we're using concealer to make them look like my skin and it's kind of fun oh i look horrifying and i love it <laughs> i love like looking like not normal that was kind of weird like i don't mean that this isn't normal if this is what you usually look like like go for it like whatever you want to look like but i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore i just don't want to offend anyone so but anyway i'm dyeing my hair tomorrow any guesses what color i've definitely hinted at this before oh no my eyebrows itchy Okay. I've definitely hinted at this like hair color before and yeah I've never done it before which isn't saying much because I've only done like orange red and yellow and blonde so I have never done my whole head this color that might be a hint so look into it but yeah leave a comment down below what color you think I'm doing my hair next because I'm really excited I don't know if I'll make a video on it because it's just going to be like putting dye on I'm not bleaching my roots or anything so yeah but my next video I'll have my hair color so that's pretty exciting I'm really excited how many times can i say excited or exciting but i'm kind of nervous because like obviously i go to college i've made a couple of videos about that and i'm just nervous about people's reactions to it like when i dyed my hair all my other colors and stuff school was online i never really saw anybody except for my family or if i decided to leave the house which isn't very often i would see people but they wouldn't know that i had just done my hair and for some reason i find it so awkward the whole like first day after you dye your hair and people like notice there's a change so they're gonna be like oh i really like your hair or they feel like they have to say something and not that i'm like oh i only want them to compliment if it's genuine because no i don't care about that it's just like awkward when people acknowledge the chain you know what i mean i don't know if that makes any sense but it's just like awkward i don't know wow i look so cool this is just like so different for me <laughs> who am i am i in focus i hope so okay and now a little bit of blue under the eyes i hope i can get a cool instagram pic out of this makeup which i know sounds like conceited to say but i kind of want to do like a close-up of it so we'll see if i end up posting it but if not it's just fun to do it and get a video out of it honestly and then i want to do a little red nose because that's like a stereotypical obviously like clowns have red noses i kind of wish i did round blush now that i'm looking at it i think it's okay get my camera and see okay i look scary but okay okay let's do the little red nose before i lose my mind <laughs> putting eyeshadow on your nose really emphasizes your blackheads it's really kind of weird but also kind of fun but boop, 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 boop. what do clowns say i don't even know all i can think of is like the joker and like you want to know how i got these scars was that good that felt kind of good eyelash glue i definitely need that i'm gonna do some dramatic lashes kind of excited for it are any of you guys excited about this or are you just like watching this like unimpressed comment down below and let me know if you hate my guts thank you 
Okay, I made them kind of big, but that's what I'm supposed to do, so yeah. It goes with it. I think maybe adding some colorful freckles on top of the blush might fix what we've got going on here. But I also kind of want to make the blush a little more concentrated as circles, so or as triangles, I guess. And then it's just kind of like messy on the outsides. Almost like Joker, you know? Okay, I'm definitely gonna do them on my forehead too. Especially since I have no eyebrows. But I think I need a smaller brush. Maybe I'll do eyelashes first, but anyway. What's new with you guys? Did I already ask that? I'm sorry, I'm an awful friend. I don't even remember what I asked you. Okay, my camera cut off because I only have like half an hour of filming time and I guess it's been over half an hour. So we've been going at it for a while. Anyway, we're just gonna put these lashes on. They're really big and dramatic and I think that's perfect for this look if I'm being honest. I'm not gonna use like liner or anything because I don't think that goes with this look, but I really don't know. Also, I love the band Beach House so much. It's literally insane. Like all their songs literally are beautiful. Like I'm sure everyone's heard of Space Song, which is amazing. It's like so popular for a reason. It's such a good song, but I love Gila, Silver Soul, Somewhere Tonight, like all of their songs. And they just released like an EP last night and I love Pink Funeral already. And they just announced that they're going on tour and I want to go so bad, but I don't know anyone that likes Beach House or like I really don't have like any friends really. So it's like not a huge group that I have to choose from, but I'm gonna go and I will find a way. Anyone else also feel like their eyes are completely different shapes and eyelashes never look right? Okay, I think that's good enough for now. I do want to do some lower lashes too, I think. Yeah, I definitely do. Everything's a mess. I'm just gonna use some old lashes. wonder where I put my scissors. Now that is the real question. Hmm, BRB. I look so weird. Found them. Okay, so they're like wispy lashes. So I'm cutting off the longest three wisps near the end and i'm just gonna do those on the bottom lash line like upside down or like whatever i've never really done bottom eyelashes before so this could go horribly wrong okay they might be too thick kind of like the way of just the one looks on the outer corner though so i might just do that okay the florence pew frown i wish i could do it i can't okay now a little bit of highlighter, I think, will be good. Ow, that burns like a mother something. And then I think I'll add a little bit of like a sparkly pink into my nose. Or maybe I should just add like a gloss on top of my nose. I have this like hot pink Fenty gloss, so I might just add that. I think that looks kind of cool. Okay, I'm still not decided on the forehead. <sighs> decisions decisions honestly i think i might forget it and do my bangs and then we'll see but i need to add some mascara to darken up my lashes because they're looking mighty blonde or like light because of the foundation and luckily my bottom eyelashes are already like kind of long so i'm just gonna like clump them together with mascara and that kind of works god i hope you're in focus I think you are. Can you see me? You guys would tell me if I was out of focus, right? I feel like I'm Dora talking to no one because like you guys are there and watching right now, but as I'm filming, you're not here and I am truly just talking to myself. And if I think about that, it really scares me and sends me on a spiral. So we're not gonna talk about it anymore, are we? Nope. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of white eyeshadow and put it in my bottom waterline, which yes, always burns like, fresh hell or something i don't know but i don't have any white eyeliner so oh ow, ow, ow. also all i could think about today during my midterm was like okay that really hurt all i could think about today during my midterm was like making soup and eating it because i was like really hungry and i just wanted to go home and eat some soup I'm like can you blame a girl soup so good but i get home make my soup it tasted awful it was just like canned minestrone soup like is that how you pronounce it minestrone i'm not italian i don't know but i love that soup like when you go to the spaghetti factory it's literally the best soup but when it's canned not amazing okay i got these blue extensions at spare halloween like a long time ago i had longer hair at the time but i I think we can make them work for this look they're really shiny but i was gonna do my hair like this like aquamarine but i just don't think my hair is light enough to do blue or at least the color blue that i want yet so i don't think i'm loving them with this look yeah i'm not loving them <laughs> i'm just gonna change into a different shirt and then we'll do my hair and get ready for the reveal 
Okay, here's the finished look. I just like curled my bangs like very crazily and kind of flipped up some of the ends. And I put on this shirt that I got from Unif like a long time ago. Um, it's just like all colorful. And then I put like a white, I mean pink tank top on top. And I think this is the finished look. I'm kind of in love with it. It's kind of like crazy and like, it's just fun. I just wanted to do like a fun clown look and I did. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than what I usually do and whatever, but yeah. Let me know if I made a mistake by not doing the triangles on the forehead, but got these bangs are quite crazy and in my eyes. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video, which will be very soon.